What a freaking great day. What a great day. But there's a lesson I've learned here as well, and it's a very, very important one that I need to pass on to you. Uh, when First post holiday boot sale, man. It was hard getting my brain into gear this morning. I'm going to blame the jet lag. Uh, that's what it is. Yeah, I'm going to blame the jet lag. A bit damp this morning, but the forecast is good. And I'm hoping for some serious bangers at the boot sale. Let's get on the road and see what we can find. Hit them out! This car park is going to be rammed today. There's an absolutely huge queue of people waiting to get on. Good news, man. Good news. It is a bit drizzly, though. Doesn't seem to have put anybody off. I just jinxed it. I know, shut up. <laughs> Start from 15 and then. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere, somewhere 13, somewhere 12, somewhere 10. Yeah, yeah. Salt and deer. Yeah. But it's all sealed inside and I've checked everything's there. But it's like um I looked at it on eBay. Yeah. I mean I know that's yeah, the yeah. That, right? Um it's on at fifty on five pound postage. Yeah. It's a um discontinued one uh, two thousand and seven I think. It's a quick look. But we don't do Lego, somebody's give me this to sell, so yeah. how much are you lo are you looking for for it? I don't know because I like say we don't do Lego. Yeah. I'm, I'm only going off what it says, but I mean, people put it on eBay. It's going to sell on eBay. Yeah, of course. And that's yeah, my yeah. argument. People come to us well on eBay. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, June, do you, have you got any idea of what we should be asking for it? Um, well, there's only one comp at 80 quid. Right. Um, I'd be looking at 20. Yeah. If I'm honest to pay. I mean, it's um, got everything, it's got the instruction thing with it, and it's got the gold. Thing. Yeah, yeah. But I've been through it all and everything's there, all yeah. sealed, all it's got little men. You know the little gold yeah. men with it and everything. Twenty five. So. Twenty five, I'll do twenty five, yeah. Would you? Yeah. 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 Seems you guys follow the channel. <laughs> oh look at it. I absolutely love it. Can't get her off a bloody I'm iPad like... over there. <laughs> you following you. Yeah, you have the, your, list, your list of who you follow and Yeah, I yeah. No, I appreciate it. Much in we don't watch <laughs> I'm the same with Michelle, you know. Because I'm mine, we don't speak till we go to bed. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Brilliant, brilliant. thanks very thank much. Thank you very much. I love the banter that you have with people as well, and it's brilliant. The thing is, though, I mean, it, 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 you've got to be like that, otherwise, you just come across as rude, and yeah. that's just not me. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. Yeah. no I appreciate it. I'll come back and see yeah. you when you got stuff out anyway. Yeah, and you, lovely. Have you got a nose, buddy? Uh, 15. 15. Yeah, yeah. I want you to say 20, but I'll watch your video. <laughs> I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. There's all sprayways and burning out. Yeah. It's difficult to say no to people who just support the channel. <laughs> Taking your spot, please. Yeah. 20 with that. Top man. Thank you. See that jaunty little hat. Yeah, that's a thingy on that. Vintage candle as well. Right. Pure wool. Nice. They're pure wool as well. Fleece line. I think I made them. Yeah. find uh, it's always been hit and miss hats for me yeah um some of them are just absolute fire those just hang around for ages people buy them just to try them on yeah yeah on return yeah <laughs> or for a particular event like a higher service that's quite a nice one actually a few of them have just full of goose down all right okay 
Should be alright today. This is supposed to be the worst it is weather wise. Yeah. Best best military guard steps that I have. And what are you looking at for these? Uh, I'm going to have to ask a fiver for that because it's vintage. Yeah. But like, you can have that one for three quid. Three quid. 28. Yep. That's something a bit different. <laughs> I don't know whether I like it or hate yeah, it. <laughs> and what are you looking at for those? Uh, Tenor. Tenor. Yeah. Buy them about 40 quid when they're not new. Yeah. 25, 28. Cheers, pal. Much obliged. I've got a camcorder as well. I don't want to be sure. Have you had a do with it? Have you tested it? No. No, no. Okay. You can have it for a fiver in case it's probably worth three quid. Yeah. We used to get strong money for camcorders now, unless oh. it's handicam, nobody's interested. We did five on that, Harry Samba. Seven. Yeah, so go on. show you why. Yeah. It's got a big porcelain button on the yeah. back, which makes yeah. it a bit more appealing. Uh, yeah, go on. <laughs> when that fella grabbed it, I'm going to. I know. <laughs> There's some cracking stuff, it's all buried. There's some cracking stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how come you're getting shot? It's just job lots of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Me bought one. Um, six quid here. I'll swing back in a bit and have another look. Cheers, mate. Morning, mate. How are you doing? So I'm not standing up. How much have you got on these? Thirty. Thirty. Did you do 50 for the pair? 55. 55. Let me just double check my own work. Yeah, alright. Yeah, we'll do that. Nice one. Are these the only ones you've got? I've got one more at the, at the um, unit book. Oh, alright, okay. I was watching you last night on YouTube. Oh, nice one. Cheers, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Are you here next week? Uh, probably, yeah. yeah. I think you have one Nice one, yeah. appreciate it. What's your name? Lee. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. Oh, cheers, man. Thank you very much, and much boys. Fifteen quid. Okay, do you want some money for this? <laughs> oh. Thank you. Hi, welcome. Thank you. So I'll come and see you early enough. <laughs> Most of you last two weeks. I know, I've been away on holiday. <laughs> Mauritius. Yeah, oh my word, yeah. Yeah. Sydney 420, 420D. Go with that one. This is a receipt printer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All, the... all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. Is it just these you've got with you today, Paz? Sorry? Is it just these you've got with you today? Yeah. Yeah. You got all the cables with him, yeah. 170. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let me go and get some more cash now. <laughs> it's a good sign when you're running out, isn't it? <laughs> How much have you got on your barber? Oh, the back. 20, that one. 20. Is it men's or women's? 
Do you know? He's a, do you know, Mark bought it for him, but to be fair, I was like... <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Did you do 15? Yeah, go on. Oh, very good, then. Thank you. This mum next door's cleared me out. Oh, really? <laughs> I need to go back get some more cash already. Oh, no. <laughs> Bit of change for you, anyway. Oh, I'm sure that'll help. fantastic. Thank you so much. Cheers. Hey, oh. You doing? Yeah, Emma. I was really gonna come and rob your trolley, you know that. Oh, yeah. like, so I robbed his trolley. <laughs> yeah. You will be the first. <laughs> I think we're gonna get a cash stop up already, run out. Just a shoe bit old she A key B737. What have you got on those, Paul? 25. 25. On the eBay, it's 80 pounds. Five and a half. Five and a half. Is it 20 quid? 22. 21? Two I'm joking, I'm joking. I'll say I'll do 22. Right. Uh, Continue to take impresa e Thank you, my friend. You can't, sir. There's... Yeah. 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 I won't ideally, I'm not taking less than 35 for it because on eBay they still got, I've got them, people selling like 60, 70 quid. Yeah. The polish is, yeah. um, these ones are five. Oh, they're, 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 they're Which one? That one. Yeah. Uh, Good morning. morning. How are you today? Oh, all right, apart from this it, rain that I wasn't expecting. It's a little bit moist at the minute, isn't it? <laughs> How much have you got on your roller skates? The adult ones. Pardon? How much are the roller skates, the adult ones? Uh, 30. 30. 20 each How's it going, guys? What have you got on the hunters? Sorry? How much are the hunters? Uh, 20 pounds. 20 pounds? Yeah. Are they genuine? Yeah. That's very expensive, you know, eh? Yeah, yeah. Three. Size three. I think you might need those in a little bit if this keeps up, isn't it? <laughs> How much? Fifty pound. Yeah, yeah. The same, Paul. Any new bits in? What have you got on these? Uh, 15 pound a pack, yeah. but you can have them both for 25. It's fair to say the weather has taken a bit of a turn. It's moist out there. I'm having to source by sonar. What a friggin' great day! What a great day in spite of the fact it was raining. I've spent a small fortune, but I've got a load of really good stuff. It was three trips back to the car. I mean, to be fair, one of the trips is only our full trolley but even so really good margin items as well i've woken up a little bit which is very useful i think i've made a cock up though with that disc lock i shall explain let's get everything home and go through what i got well that was just the best result ever 
from a soggy boot cell. And typical British weather. It's bloody lovely outside now. I did get rather wet earlier. No complaints, obviously. Let's get into what I got. My early suspicions about this disc lock were misplaced. I just didn't know how to drive it. I don't think I've ever picked up one before, actually. But usually, because they're too bloody expensive. It's only got one key with it, but a lot of the ones that are listed are. I actually completely missed this top bit that is used to push the pin across. I thought it was all on the key. But anyway, it works. It's a small. I just can't believe this was just three quid. Yeah, it's a bit rusty. It's a bit rough around the edges, but these things are built to last a thousand years in pristine condition you're probably looking at north of a hundred pound for this but in this condition might be sticking me back out a little bit because like i say cosmetically it does look a little bit on the tired side but i'm going to stick a listing value of 90 pound on it shout out to james rawlinson times with jr on instagram thanks for the heads up on these mate these two uh, board games brand spanking new and seal betrayal legacy chap wanted 30 pound each for them and i paid 55 pound for both he did me a bit of a deal and i believe it, and he said he was coming back with another one next week so it'd be worth my while bobbing over because these have a listing value of 85 pound each never heard of them before today as well so let's say james thanks for the heads up on that from subscribers to the channel and I've, i was really ignorant and didn't ask the name i just it's just shocking this is a lego set 7714 the, the box is opened but it might just be a case of the seams have failed because they've failed on both sides it's actually a discontinued set limited gold edition but inside all the bags are sealed i'm going to double check that all the bags are there that is highly likely that they will be if i'm honest but obviously i will check before listing paid 25 pound for this incidentally if i make any cock-ups on the cost price i will stick a correction on screen in the edit i'm going to stick my neck out on this one because th there are some comps that are very decent return but uh th they're used they've been built up and whatnot uh, but because this is bagged i'm going to stick a listing value of 90 pound on that But I think I've got a strong suspicion that I'll fly at that because it's hard to get hold of now. This Harris Tweed handbag is absolutely lovely. Somebody, as it was being put out, somebody else grabbed it. Um, I think initially the seller wanted a tenner for it. I paid £7, but it really is stunning. The Harris Tweed handbags, they're not quite as high value as you might suspect for this type of stuff. But again, I'm going to stick my neck out on the listing value. It's got a really nice ceramic a large button on it as well in fabulous condition i'm going to stick a listing value of 35 pound on it there are the odd comp for harris tweed handbags uh, at uh, that level generally speaking they're around about the 20 to 25 pound mark Be but because this one is very very stand out compared to the uh, the comps and the listed I'm feeling £35. Stick my neck out. Here it goes. Like I say, you can always reduce the price over time if it's not selling. From my guy Faz, this guy is an absolute top, top bloke. Uh, sorting me out with three more princes. First one is a ZD420. Incidentally, paid £170 for all three. And the breakdown is the ZD420. Listing value £150. I've uh, sold a few of these now. This is the GK420D. Listing value on that, £120. And the ZD421, that also will have a listing value of £150. I think this, these were my first pickup of the day. Hush Puppies, brand spanking new uh, leather slip-ons men's. Paid £15 for those. They'll have a listing value of £40. Couple of hats now, Rydell Wax hats. Paid £3 for that. That'll have a listing value of £20. That might be a bit ambitious, to be honest. Maybe £15, 15 to £20. And a very nice vintage Kangol bucket hat. 100% wool, nice tie design. Five pound pay for that. Listing value twenty five pound on that one. More Accu boots. They've been selling steady away for me. These three pairs of boots and two items of clothing all came from Rakesh. Paid one hundred and thirty pound for this little lot from Rakesh. The new unboxed Accus all have a listing value of one hundred and thirty five pound. Sold a few at that level now. 
I haven't come across these at all. I didn't think these were issue at first. They are, they are but they are though. They've got a NATO stock number. Uh, these are safety boots. Surprisingly, well, relatively speaking, low value as well. I would have suspected around about the 60 to 70 pound mark on these for a listing value but they just don't achieve that. Going at the higher end of comps, these will have a listing value of £45. I think these Akus are identical to the other ones, but I don't think they've been worn as such. The soles are immaculate, but they look like they've been tried on. Not entirely sure what the script is on there. I, I think I will list them as new without tags, unboxed kind of thing. Not going to achieve the same kind of value as the others, but I'm still going to stick a listing value on those of £110. <laughs> We've got a combat jacket and combat pants here, obviously both uh, brand spanking new in the bag, but there's a lesson I've learned here as well, and it's a very, very important one that I need to pass on to you uh, when you come across military gear like this. If you notice on the description, I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, it says jacket combat MTP, which is multi-terrain pattern, um, that's the camouflage pattern, insect repellent treated. Do not, under any circumstances, use insect repellent in any of your listings anywhere. You'll get a, in bother, and uh, I found out the hard way, so just don't do it. Best case scenario, they'll just pull the list in. Uh, worst case scenario, you'll get a strike on your account for using it. I'm not entirely sure why that is. This is just a wild guess here. I think where insect repellent is concerned, you need to be licensed at least. Uh, but I just don't think eBay uh, likes that kind of terminology anyway. The In the instance where that's happened to me in the past, I've just created a completely new listing and obviously not mentioned insect repellent, and that's perfectly fine. The, the, the garments themselves, there's nothing wrong with them. They don't breach any terms or anything like that. It's just you, the use of the words insect repellent, so don't do it. Anyway, the jacket and the pants will have a listing value of £24 each. Lovely pair of brand spanking new Mindall Active Airs. As, mind, as far as mine all goes, the desert boots are relatively low value. I would have left these alone if it wasn't for the fact that they were new. They're size 5, which is probably a bit smaller than I'd like, but it's not too bad to be fair. Obviously in squeaky clean condition. Paid £22 for these. They'll have a listing value of £80. These were interesting as well. This is the New Balance Tekela, the AstroTurf boots, and the samples as well. I have sold samples in the past and samples can go for strong money because people collect them. This will probably clean up because of the type of material. So I suspect these are wiped down and clean up nicely. But around the fabric, it's just a bit dirty. They're not They've not been used, the, the soles are in perfect nick, but it's just a shame that they're so dirty. Uh, those are slightly worse as well. So anyway, two slightly different models are paid £30 with the Vans trainers are going to come on to. There isn't really any precedent for these boots. There are for the Tekela moulded stud football boots, but not the turf boots. Even so, these are going to hit them out with somebody. I'm going to stick a listing value of £50 each on those. The van's more of a bit of a bread and butter pickup. I'm going to stick a listing value of £20 on those. Loving more wax jackets. The first one is by Town and Country. Cracking condition. £5 pay for that. Listing value £30. And finishing it on an absolute banger. This immaculate condition. Barber International Duke wax jacket. At size large. Doesn't need a belt on this one, so not too fussed about that. This style with the, the, the buckle across the, the neck as well, they sell very, very well. This is size large. Uh, this was a steal at £15. Uh, it's going to have a listing value of £100. Some examples of this jacket, particularly the black ones, sell for stronger money than that as well. Barber wax jackets are always a safe bet. Always, always, always a safe bet. Even the ones that look a little bit tired and worn, if you're paying the right kind of money for them, don't dismiss them if they've got a, if they're a little bit flea bitten i think that was my best result from many boots so for quite a while actually now and the beauty about most of this stuff is it's not going to take very much in the way of listing either i've had this conversation with a few people now as well about uh, your average 
order value. Now, I made the decision quite a while ago now to, uh, with the very rare exception, is not to list anything that's under £10. And even then, there has to be a lot of margin in that. I have to have paid pennies if I'm listing anything for £10. For £10. But I'm always very conscious of how much money is actually in the deal as well. I don't mind paying up for items if the return substantiates the expense. And ultimately, if you're spending very, very little time listing and processing the items you've got for sale, that time can be reinvested. Time is a super, super important commodity. I know I labor this point to death, but it's so important. The more focus you can put on time, the more you'll free up to use in other ways, working on efficiencies, business development, or just personal time. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. I've certainly enjoyed making it. It's nice to get back to the first boot sale for me after my little holiday. I might have mentioned that once or twice. I'm not gonna shut up about it. I was, I was just so ready for it. Okay, maybe I will shut up about it now. Thanks so much indeed for watching this video, guys, and if you continue to support for the channel as well, it's never, never, never underestimated and underappreciated. Before you go, if you can smash that subscribe button and obviously a nice little like on the video always helps as well. Until next time, I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you soon.